We are joined by George Luber. He is the chief of the Climate and Health Program at the CDC. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. So George, you're one of the panelists discussing challenges in communicating the public health risks of climate change. So what are some of these challenges? Well, communicating the risk of climate change requires an attention to both near-term impacts and long-term impacts. Climate change operates in, in a, a, on a variety of levels. It affects extreme weather events, which are short-term uh, phenomena that have, can affect people's uh, health in a number of direct and indirect ways, and they happen quite abruptly. We can actually see those. But then there's a number of challenges uh, to health that climate change brings that occur over long periods of time. These are slow changes in disease distribution or disease ecology related to shifts in temperature and rainfall, and those are hard to perceive. We have to communicate that they, the climate change does change long-term uh, climate parameters such as mean temperature, seasonality, et cetera, but also has abrupt impacts uh, that happen very short time scales. And we have to understand that as these effects accrue, they will become quite large in magnitude. But communicating about risks 40 years from now, 50 years from now, is another challenge, especially for public health practitioners who operate on a seasonal basis at most. So talk to us about what is the CDC guidance to help implement the recommendations from GAO to help address these challenges? Well, the GAO directed uh, HHS to develop a strategy to uh, uh, help communicate the health consequences of climate change to state and local public health practitioners in a better way. That requires a number of different strategies aimed at not just healthcare providers, uh, educating them about emerging risks in their jurisdiction they might want to look for, but also about uh, uh, engaging different aspects of public health from surveillance, how do we uh, develop new strategies for capturing these subtle shifts, uh, workforce development, developing a, a, um, a, a cohort of public health practitioners that understand climate change the way we need them to. Um, so it, it's a, it's a multi-tiered approach. What CDC is doing right now is developing our strategic plan for a communication strategy which will unfold through a series of products over a couple of years. And what do you see for the future of communicating climate change risks effectively? Well, uh, you know, I think the, the political dimension of this debate is a false one. Uh, once people realize that uh, they have a personal interest, that these impacts of climate change aren't limited to polar bears or to polar regions, but actually affect their children in their communities, and these impacts are underway right now, that we, we transform this from an environmental issue into a human one. And once it becomes a human issue, people uh, uh, will tend to look past those the political uh, debates. George Luber with the CDC, thank you so much for joining us. You happy to help.